He's in town with a few days to kill. Today we're taking a look at Haya Toy's exquisite mini Predator 2 City Hunter Predator. Welcome back. Now before we take a look at the City Hunter Predator and his packaging, my question for you today is, what Predator weapon is your favorite? Is it the wrist blades? Is it the, the spear? The plasma caster? Me, I like the disc. I think the disc is one of the coolest additions to their arsenal. One of my favorite things from Predator 2. Such a cool weapon. Now getting back to the Predator. You see? Uh, window box display here. Get a good look at all of his accessories there. If you're a mint and packaging type of collector. You can still get a good look at them. Predator 2 on the side. On the back. Just some promo pictures of them. Some copyright information from Ohio Toys. So let's get him into the package. And see how he looks. Now with the City Hunter Predator out of his packaging. We'll start by measuring him up. As you can see he's about 4.5 inches tall. Or about 11 centimeters. So these are pretty small figures. They're about the size of uh, the 80's G.I. Joe's. If you remember those. So uh, compared to the NECA Predators, they're quite small, but they are still very detailed. As you can see, taking a look at him, a lot of very, very fine details for such a small figure. The biomask is very well detailed. It's got kind of a, a hammered metal look to it. You can got the damage to the side there. You can see a little bit of the City Hunter's head poking through his biomask. A little bit of the chin there. His armor also damaged like he's been in a lot of battles. The uh, netting that's on the Predator body is sculpted on and as you can see it's really well painted. Not sloppy at all. Not uh, going out of the lines. That's really impressive. Even uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures, a lot of the time they won't paint the webbing on that. But for Haya to go the extra step and fully do the uh, netting like that and do it so clean, that's such a small figure. It's uh, really impressive. See his kind of loincloth area there. His thigh armor. This is where his uh, disc will go. I'll show that in a second. Of course, he does have his Predator gauntlet here. These are a soft uh, rubber, and they do extend. Going down to the legs. Fully armored there. No shoes for the Predator. He was barefoot. And he has his little uh, pouch here where he keeps his Oreo cookies. It doesn't open. Going around to the back. Fully armored. His plasma caster will get attached there, which I can get again, I'll show in a second. His little uh, pouch here is on a uh, little bit of string, so it does move around. Going back up to the head, the dreadlocks are uh, kind of a rubber too, so you can move them around to move his head around. The little uh, beads and everything on there, really well painted too. Putting the Predator over here for a second, we'll take a look at some of his accessories. He's probably not going to stand. Maybe he will. Speaking of stands, it comes with this diorama base. You see it's got kind of a muddy, maybe a street kind of texture to it. With a single peg in there. It also comes with 
this kind of H bracket here, which you can put inside. There's many different ones. There's two of these that are in the package. And you can clip it to the side and then attach it to a, another base to form uh, you know, a larger display if you have the other Predators. All the Predators come with this. As far as accessories go, we have this human skull and spinal column with the pelvis in there. As you see him uh, with the film, he's got this. Now there isn't a spot on the back to attach it. There's no uh, clip or anything like in the film, but uh, I'm sure you there is a way that you could uh, kind of get it to stick there if you maybe stuck it on or wrap it around his uh, little bag strap here. Well, we have the Predator here. We'll take a look at his plasma caster. That's a little detail on it. Again, these are tiny, tiny, tiny figures. So it's, I'm very impressed by uh, what they're able to do with it. So if we just move his hair out of the way, this should just slide in. Here, oh, I'm gonna take it off camera just for a second. And here it is, attached. This uh, little bit of uh, armor here is kind of a rubber, which you can just pull aside to easily slip this in. And it does go up and down. Now the uh, dreadlocks will be in the way, but you can kind of move them out of the way if you want it further up on his shoulders. Of course it does rotate around and slide back and forth. Moving on to some of his weapons, he does have uh, his uh, spear here, his combi stick as some of the, the video games called it in its collapsed form. And then you have the fully extended version of the spear. Very long weapon, actually longer than uh, the Predator himself is. Again, very nicely detailed for such a small uh, little accessory. He also comes with the infamous disc. It's a holes in it. Which, as mentioned before, will clip into his uh, little holster here, which I'll have to do off camera. And here is the disc attached to the holster, sort of. It's not the easiest fit, and I am not entirely confident that it'll stay in there, but it is in there, maybe with a little bit more uh, pressure and a little bit more time to match up the, uh, the little rubber nub that sticks in through the holster into the hole, it'll stay there, but uh, it's in there for now, and that, just be careful, uh, you don't lose it if you do put it in the holster and go move it someday. Now in addition to the hands he comes with, he comes with kind of this open uh, spear holding hand on the figure. Same with the other side for holding uh, his weapons. I should mention that the disc does have a lot of holes in it too uh, that look like uh, you know his fingers can go into it and kind of grab it but none of the hands really seem to fully fit that properly so I'm not exactly sure um, how you're intended to uh, have him hold it perhaps just in this hand uh, like he's throwing it like a frisbee instead of having the fingers in the holes. He also comes with these kind of relaxed hands, left and right. Again, very nicely detailed. 
You can see the paintwork there. And there's the one for um, the other side. And then he comes with these very uh, splayed hands. For both the left and the right. And in the packaging, you also get this uh, picture of the Predator. Kind of in the background. I suppose you could use it as a postcard. You know, send it to your granny. Wish you were here. As well as a uh, flyer sheet advertising the different uh, Predator 2 Predators that Hyatt Toys makes. And I will be taking a look at all of these. Now moving on to our articulation. The head is on a ball joint. You can look down very far. You can look up a decent amount. Full 360 degree rotation. The uh, arms also fully rotate. And go out a bit that far. So not a whole lot. There is a swivel at the bicep. A single bend elbow. On uh, this arm, he doesn't seem to really rotate much here. But on this one, you do have the full rotation. So I'm not sure if mine is maybe uh, just a little stiff or what the deal is there. The uh, wrist has its full articulation. At the waist, you can crunch that far forward just a little bit. And back a little bit. The uh, legs kick out very far. Go back like that. This is kind of a rubber, so we can. Uh, uh, move, move a little bit for the articulation. There is a swivel at the thigh. You do have a double bend knee. The foot goes back and forth. And no real side to side. On this one, for my figure, the foot doesn't really move that much. Again, I don't know if that's just a little bit of... Uh, uh, paint or something that's hindering the articulation, but I don't really want to force it given that it is such a, a small piece. I also find that the knee is just a little bit loose on this leg. So while it may not have the immediate shelf presence of a larger figure like, say, the NECA, I think Hayatoys has done an incredible job of bringing uh, detail and quality to this uh, smaller scale figure. This is a 118 scale figure. But uh, I think it's uh, very impressive what they've done with it. Uh, the other advantage of the Haya line is that uh, they've, they're making all the Predators from the film so far. The only one that's missing is um, the one from the newest film. And they're all still available. So uh, you don't have to worry about certain ones being out of print, like the, the NECA figures are out of production, I should say, and uh, going for crazy money. These retail for... $20 US and uh, they've done a whole lot of different variants of each Predator 2 and uh, I think they're perfect for um, dioramas and things like that. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back with many more Hyatt Toys figures and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.